What if AI voices could actually understand context, like when to sound excited, serious, or even sarcastic? Imagine a text-to-speech model that doesn't just read words but feels them. Well, that's exactly what Hume AI's new model, Octave, promises to do. It's the first ever LLM built for text-to-speech, but does it actually deliver? Today we're breaking down what makes Octave different from other AI voice models, how it performs compared to Eleven Labs and OpenAI's voice engine. And of course, we'll test it out live so you can hear for yourself. Let's dive in. 1. What is Octave and why should you care? Alright, so what exactly is Octave? And why is everyone talking about it? Hume AI launched it on February 26, 2025, calling it the first large language model, LLM built specifically for text-to-speech. Unlike traditional TTS models that just convert text into audio, Octave aims to understand what the text means. So, if a script says, Oh great, another Monday, or yes, we finally made it, a regular AI voice might sound flat and robotic, but Octave is supposed to adjust the tone naturally, adding sarcasm, excitement, or even a whisper if needed. Here's where it gets really interesting. You can give Octave instructions like say this in a dramatic movie trailer voice, or whisper this like a secret. It also lets you create custom voices want a grizzled cowboy or a British professor. Just describe it, and Octave will generate it. Sounds pretty cool, right? But does it actually work? Let's find out. 2. Live Demo Testing Octave's Voices Alright, time for a hands-on test. I'll now run some voice samples through Octave so you can hear how well it adapts to different tones and emotions. The real kicker, you can spin up any dang voice you can dream of with just a prompt. Because you see, it's one of them LLM things. And that's just what they do. Oh, darling, you simply must try the scones. They're my own recipe, you know. I vant to bite your neck and drink your blood. It will be a beautiful and terrible dance. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Ever since seeing him stick a beaver hat on the Empire State Building, I've dreamed of flying a Nimbus to the top of the Burj Dubai. One day, maybe I'll get one for myself. What's that? You want to give me your Nimbus 3000? I can't accept that, man. I can still hear your laughter, sharp and clear, slicing through the air like a melody. But that was before, wasn't it? Before everything changed. And it did change. Everything. Every damn thing. You left. You promised you wouldn't. And then, you did. Just like that. Do you even know what that did to me? To stand there, watching you walk away, knowing, knowing, I couldn't stop you. And you had the audacity to say it was for the best. For the best? Ha. Huh. For whom, exactly? Because it sure as hell wasn't for me. But, I suppose, it doesn't really matter now, does it? Time keeps moving. People fade. The world doesn't stop spinning just because your heart feels like it's been carved out with a dull knife. It should, though. It really should. I wish it would. Those are the demos presented by Hume. Now, let's run our own test. Sarcastic voice. Oh, great. Another Monday. Can't wait. Does Octave sound properly sarcastic? Urgency test. 
Emergency! The spaceship is crashing! We're all doomed! <gasps> Emergency! The spaceship is crashing! We're all doomed! Does it sound panicked or just mildly concerned? Whisper test. I see you. I see you. If it sounds creepy enough, we are good. Custom voice test. Greetings, traveler. Welcome to my shop of magical artifacts. Greetings, traveler. Welcome to my shop of magical artifacts. Greetings, traveler. Welcome to my shop of magical artifacts. What do you think so far? Drop a comment and let me know. 3. How does Octave compare to competitors? Now, the big question, is Octave better than Eleven Labs or OpenAI's voice engine? According to blind comparison studies, Octave was rated 71.6% better for audio quality, 51.7% better for sounding natural, 57.7% better at matching a specific voice request. But here's the thing, these are Hume AI's own numbers, and while early users seem to like it, real-world testing will tell us if it's actually the best. That said, where Octave might have an edge is, more expressive and emotionally aware speech, more affordable pricing, reportedly cheaper than Eleven Labs, easier to customize voices, but does it completely replace the competition? Not so fast. 4. What could hold Octave back? Now before we all declare Octave the king of AI voices, there are a few things to keep in mind. Is it really the first LLM for text-to-speech? OpenAI and Eleven Labs have already done advanced TTS models, so Octave isn't necessarily the first, just a different approach. Affordability. How well is it going to compete with bigger players like Eleven Labs? What happens if Eleven Labs drops its own prices? Will it survive the price war? Potential for misuse. As AI voices get better, we need stronger ethical safeguards against deepfake misuse and voice cloning scams. 5. Final thoughts. Innovation or just another AI voice? So, here's where we stand. If you want expressive AI voices, Octave looks really promising. If you're looking for affordability, it might be a cheaper alternative to Eleven Labs. But if you need a long-term battle-tested solution, we still need more real-world results. Would you use Octave over Eleven Labs or OpenAI's voice engine? Let's talk in the comments. The real kicker? You can spin up any dang voice you can dream of with just a prompt. Because you see, it's one of them LLM things. And that's just what they do. Oh, darling, you simply must try the scones. They're my own recipe, you know. I vant to bite your neck and drink your blood. It will be a beautiful and Don't forget to like, dance. subscribe, and hit the bell for more AI tech breakdowns. See you in the next one.